بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم بيسعدني ويشرفني أن ألتقي بكم الدكتور أحمد المقدم ومعي من الزملاء دكتور محمود الشامي من إدارة الأمراض المزمنة بصحة الرياض في اليوم العالمي للقلب إن شاء الله بإذن الله حيكون عندنا اليوم اللي هو تو سيشنز ال first sessions about the cardio metabolic risk factors. Second sessions have a workshop in the American Heart Association. I'll welcome the guests of the program who joined us in the third session. Today, peace be upon you. I want to mention that, in the future, peace be upon you, we will send you Dr. Mahmoud Shami. رابط التسجيل في اخر ربع ساعة من ال من ال ان شاء الله باذن الله من الدورة مدة الدورة اللي هو المحاضرة بالورك شوب مدتها ساعة واحدة بسلام باذن الله وبعد اللي هو الساعة دي في اخرها بي بي او قبل نهايتها بيتم ارسال اللي هو رابط الساعات لحد الحين الساعات لم يتم تأكيدها وذلك بسبب انتقال ال اللي هو ممارس بلس الى منصه مستمر يعني المشكله مش من عندنا من الهيئه السعوديه بمجرد ان شاء الله باذن الله ما يدونا الاكسس لادخال الساعات هنبدا ان احنا ندخل لكم الاسماء اللي حضرت فبسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بنبدا المحاضره الاولانيه عن الكارديو ميتابوليك سندروم دي موجوده في السعودي ناشونال جايد لاين فوات از الكارديو ميتابوليك سندروم سميت بعدة أسماء اللي هو مالتيبل كارديو ميتابوليك ريسك سميت من قبل بالديس ميتابوليك سندروم أو مالتيبل ميتابوليك سندروم أو كارديو ميتابوليك سندروم أند سامتايم بالسندروم إكس من حوالي ما يقارب ال 100 يير أجو اللي هو 1923 كيلين ديسكرايب ذا كلاسترينج أوف هايبرتنشن الجاود والهايبر جلايسيميا كوان ديسيز يعني جمع ما بين اللي هو الضغط والنقرس والسكر كمت... كمتلازمه واحده. In 1988 ريفين ديسكرايب سندروم اكس جمع ما بين الهايبرتنشن، الهايبرجليسيميا، الاور الجلوكوز انتولرانس، الاليفيتد ترايجليسرايد، اند لو اتش دي ال كوليسترول. In 1998 الدبليو اتش او ديفاينز ميتابوليك سندروم از كلاسترينج اوف هايبرتنشن، لو اتش دي ال Hypertriglyceridemia, insulin resistance, glucose intolerance, or type 2 diabetes, plus high with 2 hip ratio and microalbuminuria. In 2001, National Cholesterol Educational Panel, Adult Treatment Panel 3 of, North Amer of the North America, provides a clinical definition of the metabolic syndrome. But what is the metabolic syndrome? The metabolic syndrome is characterized by a group of the metabolic risk factor. They include abdominal obesity, uh, abdominal obesity, excessive fat tissue in and around the abdomen, and the blood fat disorders or dyslipidemia. Before we were concentrated on the low density lipoprotein, now the high tri triglyceride and low HDL cholesterol and also the high LDL cholesterol that fosters the black build up ups in our walls, elevated blood pressures and insulin resistance or glucose intolerance, where the body cannot use, use the insulin in a, a proper way, prothrombotic states by the increasing high, uh, high fibrinogen and plasminogen activator inhibitor one in the blood, and lastly, the pro-inflammatory state by increasing the acute phase protein, C-reactive protein, resistin, and interleukin-6, all the inflammatory markers. The يعني metabolic syndrome is a pathophysiology of the metabolic disorders. If you combine it with each cardiovascular destroying the, the, uh, the health. But what, what, what about that? The first 
abdominal obesity. When we are talking about the obesity is not any obesity. We are, we are concentrated about the central obesity. The, the second one, the dyslipidemia is not any dyslipidemia. We are, we are talking about the high bar triglyceridemia and low HDL uh, uh, cholesterol. When and uh, for the elevated blood pressure, prehypertensive or hypertension, and for the uh, blood sugar disorders or diabetes, and also it is associated associated with some prothrombotic coagulopathy because of the high fibrinogen and the plasminogen activator inhibitor one. And the last three, we are talking as a pro-inflammatory state, like any inflammatory disorders by the increasing of the inflammatory markers. The clinical identification of the metabolic syndrome, it is a cluster of the cardiovascular risk factors, including obesity, dyslipidemia, high blood pressure, fasting glucose abnormalities. The obesity is not just any obesity. It is the abdominal obesity or central obesity. And dyslipidemia is not any dyslipidemia. It is high bar triglyceridemia and low HDL cholesterol. This is what's meaning by the central obesity. Definition of the metabolic syndrome, we have three international medical schools. The first one, National Cholesterol Educational Panel, Adult Treatment Panel 3 of the North America. Second one, International Diabetic Federation. Third one, the American Heart Association. Uh, it is requires about the components, five components. First one, with circumference. Second one, high bar triglyceridemia. Third one, low HDL cholesterol the blood pressure and fasting blood sugar. Uh, for the National Cholesterol Educational Panel, Adult Treatment Panel 3 of the North America and American Heart Association uh, requires three of the five components. Three of the five components are the metabolic syndrome. In the International Diabetic Federation, requires the first one, with circumference plus the two of the uh, of the rest of the four components. Name the four that are present. So, for the American system, the more than the with circumference for the girl, more than you say, 0.2 for female, more than the H8, and also the American Heart Association, same criteria. في في النظام الاوروبي اكثر من او يساوي 94 بقياس طوق القص وفي النساء اكثر من او يساوي 80 عشان نشخص اللي هو الميتابوليك سندروم بالنسبه للترايجلسرايدز حسب سبتمبر 2020 كمان اللي هو نفس الشهر اللي فيه بقى الهايبر ترايجلسرايديميا نبدا ان احنا نشخصها اف سيرم ترايجلسرايد مور ذان اور ايكوال 150 ملي جرام لو اكثر من او يساوي 150 بقى بالنسبه لنا اللي هو ون اوف ذا كومبوننت اوف ذا ميتابوليك سندروم ال اتش دي ال كوليسترول اور كارديو بروتكتيف كوليسترول اف ليس ذان 40 ملي جرام ما يساوي 1 ملي مول في الرجال اند ليس ذان 50 ملي جرام 1.3 بالنسبه للملي مول في النساء معناها another component of the metabolic syndrome في blood pressure more than or equal 130 systole or over uh, 85 the stall uh, the fourth component of the metabol metabolic syndrome and the fasting blood sugar is ordered more than or equal 100 and not 110. وجود ثلاثة من الخمسة دول كافيين جدا لتشخيص الميتابوليك سندروم. And so, necessary criteria to make diagnosis if you are following, following the International Diabetic Federation requires central obesity plus two of the other abnormalities. WHO also requires microalbuminuria, a low albumin creatinine ratio, if more than 30 milligram. For adult treatment, panel three of North America, Require three or more of the five 
criteria. The diagnosis of the metabolic syndrome as regard of the International Diabetic Federation criteria requires central obesity, increasing abdominal circumference more than 94 centimeter for male and more than 80 centimeter for, for female, plus two of the other abnormalities. The high blood pressure, more than 130 over 85, elevated fasting serum triglyceride, more than 150 milligram, serum HDL cholesterol, less than 40 milligram, equal one millimole and for the male and less than 50 milligram for the female with the impaired fasting globose, more than 100 milligram. And so for the diagnosis of the metabolic syndrome, According to Saudi national guidelines, the risk factor of the cardiovascular disease guidelines, three of the following are needed for diagnosis of the metabolic syndrome. Thalata min al-khamsa dool, abdominal obesity, fil min, akhtar min 102 centimeter, ma yisawi akhtar min 40 inch, binisba al-woman, more than 88 centimeter, more than 35 inch, for triglyceride, if it is more than or equal 150 milligram for HDL for the men, if less than 40 milligram, lower one millimole, and for the woman, if less than 50 milligram, 1.3 millimole for, for blood pressure, if more than or equal 130 over 85, and for the fasting glucose abnormality, if more than 100 milligram. أي ثلاثة من الخمسة دول بنعتبر نقدر نشخص بها الميتابوليك سندروم. فوات is the metabolic syndrome? It is a combination of the medical disorder that increase the risk of developing cardiovascular diseases and diabetes. It affects a large number of the people and the prevalence increasing with the age like in this Illustration. كلما زاد زاد العمر كلما زاد البوسيبيليتي بالنسبه للميتابوليك سندروم. New survey reports high obesity rate not only in the elderly but now in young people and baby boomers. The wife is saying they grow up so fast, don't say the father sure do they become more like us every day. And so the metabolic syndrome is not only disease of the elderly, but we can see that it is also the diseases of the, of the children and from uh, the childhood. And so these three medical international journals uh, saying what? Elementary signs in the heart disease found in school children. Second one, prevalence and trends of the metabolic syndrome phenotype, phenotype among you is the adolescent and the metabolic syndrome common in teens. Metabolic syndrome common among, among children and, and teens. And we can see in this picture that Jessica is five years old and her weight is five times the average of her uh, uh, ages or age group. From this, we can see that uh, the metabolic syndrome, it is a disease of the, in, in all ages, but the increasing the prevalence with the increasing the ages. What are the causes of the metabolic syndrome? Uh, this is the American Heart Association Rapid Ac Access uh, Journal report saying that the burgers, fries, diet soda, metabolic syndrome, blue plate, is special. It's published in the Dallas Magazine, January 22, 2008. A Western diet pattern promotes metabolic syndrome. This data monitor estimates that approximately 115 million individuals suffer from metabolic syndrome in the seven major market. Another uh, uh, USA journal was saying that 
uh, soft drink consumption and the risk of developing cardiometabolic risk factor and the metabolic syndrome in middle-aged adults in the community. And it was published on line in the circulation magazine in July 23, 2007. What about the French fries? This is the size of the small size of French uh, of the French fries 20 years ago. It can offer 200 calories. Now with one real take up size and uh, this up size box from the French fries uh, giving us 610 calories. The calories difference from the past uh, French books to the or French fries books to the, uh, the, the the recent or today French fries books is equal 400 calories. It needs from us to walk two hours and 40 minutes to the to burn only the difference in the calories between between the past and today. And so, what are the causes of the metabolic syndrome? Maybe because of the change in the lifestyle, diet, or physical activity, or transportation. When we are going to see the metabolic syndrome prevalence of the component, it is found that the abdominal obesity taking 39% hypertriglyceridemia, 30% low HDL cholesterol, 37% high blood pressure or medication use, 34% high fasting glucose or metabolic use, 13%. In one metabolic abnormalities taking 71% more than or equal to metabolic abnormalities in 44% more than or equal three metabolic abnormalities 24%. Percentage. What causes the metabolic syndrome? It had, it had been proposed that the insulin resistance might not only be a part of the syndrome, but might, might actually be the cause of the entire syndrome. Insulin resistance leading to hypertension, dyslipidemia, cardiovascular diseases, and diabetes. And so obesity, metabolic syndrome, and type 2 diabetes, insulin resistant obesity leads to metabolic syndrome, metabolic syndrome increasing the, the risk of the cardiovascular disease by the twofold. Metabolic syndrome itself can lead to diabetes, which increasing the, the risk of the cardiovascular diseases by the four time fold. The problem is not only about the metabolic syndrome, but the metabolic syndrome associated feature, features. Also, the other lipid dis, uh, abnormalities can be found, like small dense, low density lipoprotein, and increasing apoprotein B, prothrombotic state, which explains why the people with the metabolic syndrome are suffering from the Cardio, uh, of the car, uh, cardiometabolic risk factors and, uh, and also coronary artery disease by the increasing fibrinogen and plasminogen activator inhibitor one in their blood. Also inflammatory states, there are increasing of tumor necrotizing factors alpha, interleukin-6, resistin, and C-reactive protein, low all the inflammatory markers. Also, there is decrease, decrease in the adiponectin. What is the adiponectin? Before, it was believed that the fat cells are inner cells. Now, they have discovered that it is secreted a very interesting molecule called adiponectin. This adiponectin is cardioprotective. With the decreasing of the adiponectin, the individual will be more liable to get the cardiovascular problems or complications. They use HDL 
نقص الاديبونكتين از ايكوال نقص ال اتش دي ال لو نقص في الدم بيبقى الشخص مور لايبل تو جيت دي اللي هو الكارديو فاسكولار كومبليكيشن اولسو اسوشيتد فيتشرز از اوبستراكتيف سليب ابنيا النون الكوليك تيتو هيباتايتس اللي هو الناش الانكريزنج الهوموسيستين and most recently now there are relations between the gout the low high polyuricemia and the metabolic syndrome erectile dysfunction is associated with the metabolic syndrome cancer is associated with metabolic syndrome the polycystic ovary syndrome is associated with the metabolic syndrome hypothyroidism in Ladies are associated uh, are associated with the metabolic syndrome. Hypothyroidism, sorry, in bisex in the males and females is are is associated with the metabolic syndrome. And so we can see that the metabolic syndrome is, uh, uh, is the health destro destroyer for the heart disease, for the obesity, for the hypertension, skin disease. Acanthosis negrigans, the cancer, the cerebrovascular disease, the infertility, the stroke, and diabetes. We, uh, we can see that the West girls predict, predict the health risk better than the body mass index. مقياس طوخ الخصر ممكن أن يتوقع عوامل الخطورة أكثر من لو مؤشر كتلة الجسم. This studies for everyone increasing in the one inch in the west circumference in the men. They had it both a one bus من ال من ال من الطبقة الدهنية ال intraabdominal fat أو من ال west circumference في الرجال بتزود ال risk for the blood pressure by increasing by ten percentage. The total cholesterol increasing by eight percentage. Low HDL cholesterol increased by 15 percentage. The triglyceride increased by 18 percentage. The metabolic syndrome increased by 18 percentage. We can only talk about the added boost of one of the lower mass of the body. This is all the problems of health that are present. Similar increases were found also for women. And so, for the overweight criteria. We are need not only for the uh, lower weight or BMI, but also in waist circumference. Now we have uh, two types of the obesity: the apple-shaped obesity and the beer-shaped obesity. Which type of the obesity we have to treat, and we, which type we have leave it alone? With Abel having more central obesity and a greater amount of subcutaneous fat and more cardiovascular risk factor and, in, and the higher cardiovascular risk in, the, in, in other world, treat the Abel and leave the beers alone is what, what we have told. When we seeing the critical adipose depot uh, for the abdominal uh, adiposity, this is the layer which increasing the, the complications of the cardiovascular events, the intra-abdominal fats and the abdominal muscle layer, and this subcutaneous fat. Uh, هو الأخطر بالنسبة لنا كcardiovascular complication. But is this where you 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 measure? How can we are measured? How can we design it? An abel obesity from pear shaped obesity by the west circumference where we will measure at a level midway between the lower rib margin and the iliac crest. With the tape all around the body in the horizontal position, the mean of two measure, measurements well calculated. How we can see that? We have the pairs in this balna, men echer dela, ila, ilia crest, we have the masafa, we can measure here. 
بنقيس ما بينهم ما بين الاثنين ذيس از اللور ريب وده الاليك كريست وناخد قياسين وناخد المتوسط ما بين القياسين لكن سام انستراكشن بيطلب من اور بيشنت تو ستاند وياخد الوضعيه بتاعه المارفان سندروم اللي هو ذا ارم سبان اند افتر ذا اند اوف ذا اكسبيريشن ياخد نفس وفي نهايه الاكسبيريشن بنحط اور تيب بنحط نوت تو لوس نوت تو تايت ما يكونش ولا لوس ولا يكون مشدود اكتر من اللازم وبناخد القراءه ما بين الاليا كريست وما بين اللور ريب ناخد قراءتين وناخد المتوسط بالنسبه لهم. How does one measure? How does one designate an apple from a pear? We have explained that in the previous slide. And so the insulin resistant is the cornerstone for the metabolic syndrome. And now the paradigm shift need from us the weight and BMI and now West circumference. If the body mass index is more than uh, 35 kg per meter square, the West circumference has a little added predictive power of the disease risk. But if BMI is more than 25 to 35 kg per meter square, it will give us a great value. Here, for the treating the metabolic syndrome, we can see the treating of the other aspect of the metabolic syndrome from the American Heart Association, some proposed treatment guideline. First one, weight loss. Second one, exercise. Third one, diet low in saturated and trans fat. Fourth one, smoking station. Cholesterol, if high risk, Low density lipoprotein supposed to be 100. In 2020, guidelines supposed to be less than 80. For medium risk goal is less than 130. Now we consider it in, in a high risk, in a risk if it is more than 130. Drug if more than 130 after lifestyle modification. If the patient in low risk, add drug if more than 160 after lifestyle modification, fit triglyceride according to September 2020 has a sharp October triglyceridemia more than 150 needs the uh, lifestyle modifications and exercise. If not, we can, we can start with statin. Uh, if more than the hypertriglyceridemia, more than 500 milligram, that's meaning pancreatitis, and we, this is the urgent giving of the fabric acid derivatives and or omega-3 in, in those uh, with the high risk of developing of the pancreatitis. Hypertension with goal of less than 135 over 85 uh, or less or 130 over 80 for high risk diabetic uh, persons or chronic kidney disease. For those with the prostrombotic state with increasing of fibrinogen and the plasminogen activator inhibitor ones, we can offer low dose aspirin. Another American Heart Association recommendation for the management of the metabolic syndrome, weight loss with a smart goal to achieve a desirable weight a low body mass index less than 25 kg per meter square, increasing physical activity with a goal of at least 30 minutes of the moderate intensity exercise in most days of the week, equal 150 minutes per week, and healthy eating habits that include reduced intake of saturated fat, trans fat, and cholesterol, I, uh, also from the American Heart Association recommendation, low interventions, low routinely monitor uh, body weight, especially the index of the central obesity, blood glucose, lipoprotein, and the blood pressure, and treat individual risk factors, dyslipidemia, hypertension, uh, high blood glucose, according to established guidelines, and carefully choose the anti-hypertensive drug 
because different agents have different effect on the insulin sensitivity, like hydrochlorothiazide can lead to the metabolic syndrome and type 2 diabetes. Last slides uh, uh, from the first uh, topic, calcium, vitamin D, and the metabolic syndrome in middle-aged and elder women. Uh, recent studies have shown that diary can help prevent the metabolic syndrome and type 2 diabetes. Both calcium and vitamin D are found in dairy products. Calcium helps to prevent becoming overweight, high blood pressure, and heart disease. Vitamin D has been shown to improve the body's ability to use the insulin and the function of the beta cells, which produce insulin. A lack of the vitamin D in the body has been shown to lead to a higher chance of getting type 2 diabetes. نقص فيتامين د او او الكالسيوم تؤدي الى السكري بتؤدي الى زياده الوزن بتؤدي الى امراض القلب الوعائيه. Thank you very much uh, uh, بالنسبه للليسننج للفيرست توبيك وان شاء الله باذن الله هناخد وورك شوب جاي لنا من الامريكان هارد اسوشيشن والناشونال كوليسترول ايديوكيشنال بانل ادر تريتمنت بانل 3 اوف ذا نورث امريكا وده اللي هو السكند سيشن ان شاء الله. سيشن ناو وي ار جوينج تو توك اباوت ذا كارديو فاسكولار ديسيز ريسك فاكتورز اجين فيري سيمبل اند فيري ايزي ويز جيم ات ذا اند جميع هيشارك فيه ان شاء الله فيا ذا بوكسز جاي لنا من الامريكان هارت اسوشيشن اند ناشونال كوليسترول بروجرام. Uh, types of the cardiovascular disease, heart attack, congestive heart failure, the rheumatic heart disease, will acute coronary syndrome. When we are talking about the major risk factors of the cardiovascular disease, if we are talking about the unmodifiable risk factors, and then age, gender, hereditary, including ethnicity, The modifiable major risk factors, the smoking, the hypertension, the unhealthy blood cholesterol level, the lack of exercise, the obesity, and diabetes. The first risk factor, low tobacco, just don't. The acute cardiovascular effect of the nicotine include the acid nicotine on the heart and the lungs. The nicotine can lead to hypertension. Also increasing the oxygen demand and decreasing the oxygen delivery uh, from the myocardium. Risk of arrhythmia, nicotine arrhythmia, coronary arteries based and platelet aggregations. Every smoke puts a person's at risk, but especially someone with a progressing uh, coronary artery diseases. Also, the Tobacco can lead to a low decreasing in high density lipoprotein cholesterol and increasing LDL cholesterol, cholesterol. It will lead to damages in arterial endothelium and beginning of the atherosclerosis and increasing in chronic blood pressure by the increasing smooth muscle borrow and increasing fibrinogen RBCs and increasing blood viscosity by secondary polycythemia. أي شخص عنده اللي هو الهيموغلوبين أكثر من 17 أو 18 نشك إنه عنده secondary polycythemia due to اللي هو السموكينج. This lipidemia اللي هو high fat in blood عندنا الكوليسترول type of the cholesterol total اللي هو بنتكلم عن all types of the of the cholesterol combination between the all type the HDL the high density lipoprotein the low density lipoprotein will try this right. I'm gonna tell you about HDL. You know, it's about how good guys. It is inversely related to the coronary artery disease. As كل ما زاد HDL كل ما coronary artery disease or cardiovascular disease become down. Reverse cholesterol transport 
and HDLs may prevent cholesterol from becoming atherogenic and may even remove cholesterol from the atherosclerotic arteries. لو أي شخص عنده ال HDL العالي أكثر من 60 ملغ الاحتمالية بتاعت ال coronary artery disease بالنسبة له تعتبر منخفضة. ال LDL اللي هو بنوع على ال bad guys cholesterol to the peripheral arteries it is oxidized by the endothelial cell product and act as offending the presence injuring of the vessels war and the enchema of our endothelium. The LDL is more than 130 mg, which is about an increase of the coronary artery disease risk and the cardiovascular disease risk. Triglycerides and uh, actually, law and dinner is in the lab, we will show you new guidelines. اللي هو الهايبر تريجليسترايديميا اللي هو 20 20 اللي نزل هذا الشهر واللي اعتبر ان هو يعتبر الريسك فاكتورز اند ات از مور ماركر اسوشيتد ويز اوبيزيتي ويز فيزيكال ان اكتيفيتي ويز جلوكوز انتولرانس ديابيتس ميتابوليك سندروم اند اولسو فور الكول دوس هو ار تيكينج اوف ذا اوف ذا الكولز جديد اكثر من 500 بقت ايمرجنسي The possibility of benzmalnal bacteria bites. Triglyceride more than 150 milligram increasing coronary artery diseases risk. Hypertension, the silent killer, often has no symptoms. Blood pressure value above the normal range are considered hypertension. It is if it is consistent and sustained. Systolic blood pressure more than 140 or equal 140, and diastolic more than or equal 90 in three to five reading at least one week apart. Mabinum, in October, Shahsida, hypertensive. Hypertension damages the vessels walls and increasing after load on the heart, yani making it more work and the leading cause of the stroke and cardiac failure affect 40 percentage of the people in USA and if blood pressure more than 140 systolic and more than 90 diastolic increasing cardiovascular diseases risk. A physical inactivity, a physical activity or cardiorespiratory fitness may intervention studies how much, how intense and actually إن شاء الله بإذن الله حتبقى فيه محاضرات على new and recent guideline للبرنامج النشاط البدني والغذاء المتوازن الجايدلاين الأخير اللي نزل هذا العام عشان من 2007 تبقى شو قالت إن physical activity considered prescription now اللي هو كيفية كتابة وصفة النشاط البدني طبقا للميتابوليك equivalent أو المكافئ الأيدي And and diabetes from the glucose intolerance lower more than 100 milligram fasting blood sugars, or even clear diabetes, be be increasing the risk of the cardiovascular complications by the four folds, and maybe partial intolerance or full diabetes. High blood glucose will oxidize, destroying cell wall with the atherosclerosis and increasing the risk of the clotting. And the microvascular complications of the diabetes. The obesity, and we have mentioned central obesity, and so the location of the fat distributions is very important. And it is found that 25% of the obesity attributed to genetics, while the others are environment. And 75% has what we, have, we are eating. Increasing the hypertension, glucose intolerance, insulin resistance, or metabolic syndrome, hypertriglyceridemia, and decreasing HDL. BMI, if more than 25, increasing coronary artery disease risk in the both men and women, but more in the women. Contributing risk factors for the cardiovascular disease, including 
high triglyceride level, alcohol consumption, psychological and social factor like anxiety, stress, depression, and isolation. كل ده ممكن يؤدي contributing risk factors of the cardiovascular disease. Now we have a workshop how about a game test your knowledges كلنا بنشارك فيه إن شاء الله just click on the box and answering the question to see our knowledge it's coming and it's offered to us by the American Heart Association and the National Cholesterol Educational Program of the USA جايلنا من American Heart Association with National Cholesterol Educational Program. This is a box. We have now uh, six box. Every box have some points. Here, five points in the left, and in the right, 10 points and 20 points. And now for uh, everybody from our colleague, uh, please share with us as regard of this box, and let, let us start to know our knowledge as, as regard of the cardiovascular risk factors. This is the first one. Which risk factor is most easily controlled for your patient? Is that uh, smoking or hypertension, lack of, uh, of exercise or unhealthy? blood cholesterol level. What is your answer? Please, please try to answer. الأسهل بالنسبة لنا نحن نتحكم في مرضانا. التدخين ولا الضغط ولا الأمول البدني أو ولا اللي هو الكوليسترول ليفل. Yes, hypertension, smoking. بعض الزملاء بدأوا أنهم يشاركوا. Which one? اللي نقدر نتحكم فيه أكتر لمرضانا هل تعتقدوا أن السموكينج سهل المريض يسيب السموكينج ولا الضغط في البعض قال lack of exercise والأكتر على السموكينج actually it is a lack of the exercise نشيل الإجابات عشان نخش في السؤال الثاني. البوكس الثاني طبعا اللي جاوبه صح هياخدوا الخمسة بوكس كاملة. Yeah, but this is the correct answer. Second box, five points also. Which is not a modifiable risk factor. We have hereditary, the smoking, the obesity, the blood cholesterol level. Yes, it is hereditary. So I'll tell you about 10 points. Which factor is, is considered also a cancer risk factor? A diabetes, gender, smoking, high cholesterol level, cancer, the smoking. Right, exactly. So, which risk factor is is not a contributing risk factor. In anxiety, or the high triglyceride level, or the depressions, or the obesity. See, if all of them are going to depression, they are not contributing risk factors. In the lecture, depression, also. Let's go with depression. Here. 
wrong, try again. It is the obesity. Why? Then obesity is contributing factors. The Abaran cornerstone, it's the main factor. Now, soil and el dacht. The optimal, the optimal uh, metabolic blood pressure, the, the optimal range of the systolic blood pressure is systole. The optimal in the Yes, correct. معظم جواب إجابات صحيحة. آخر سؤال النهاردة. اللي هو ب twenty points. طيب what about بالنسبة لنا لو young adult which blood pressure بيعتبر considered healthy for young adult. إنه يكون مية وثلاثين على تم على تمانية وثمانين ولا يكون مية وعشر على سبعين ولا مية اثنين وأربعين على تمانين ولا مية أربعة وعشرين على اثنين وثمانين. بالنسبة للyoung adult what are your answer في ناس محتارة ما بين ال 124 ل 82 وما بين ال 110 على 70 لو عندنا young adult الأفضل بالنسبة له يكون إيه الضغط بالنسبة له ال 110 على 70 Uh, the, the reference here from the American, it's coming from the American Heart Association with National Cholesterol Educational uh, Program of the, uh, of the North America. Shukran lakum jami'an ala husn isra'kum wa istama'kum wa musharkitkum fi haza al-barnamik bumunasbet al-yom al-qalb al-alami. وفي نفس الوقت ان شاء الله باذن الله بنفتح باب الاسئله دكتور محمود بعت لنا رابط دكتور محمود ارسل لكم الرابط رجاء اللي هو بتاع ده اللي هو تعبوا الرابط ده لحفاظا على حقوقكم ان شاء الله باذن الله ومجرد انها تفتح اللي هو منصه مستمر بالنسبه لنا هننقل فيها الـ 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 الاسماء مباشره لان عندنا كثير مشكلة مش من عندنا من الهيئة السعودية للتخصصات الصحية بإلغاء اللي هو ممارس بلس بالنسبة للساعات وإعطاء الصلاحيات بالكامل إلى من إلى منصة مستمرة إن شاء الله إلى إلى الأسئلة لو في أي أسئلة أو بالشاتنج اللي عايز يكتبها بالشاتنج ممكن يكتب بالشاتنج على طول يعطيك العافية دكتور أحمد السلام عليكم السلام عليكم السلام عليكم أوكي هاو تو ميجر الويست سيركمبرانس أنا سمع... سبنا لكم اللي هو بتاع ده اللي هو فرصة لل... للأسئلة لو في أي سؤال هاو تو ميجر هاو تو ميجر الويست سيركمفرانس بليز دكتور أحمد أجين اللي هو الكورونر أرتري ديسيز أو مايكارجر إمبارشن أو الاستراب ليه إن هم بيكونوا عندهم عرضة أكتر من الباقي لأكتر من 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 سبب قلنا أي شخص عنده ال ال اتش دي ال أقل من 40 ملغ بالنسبة للرجال وعنده أقل من 50 ملغ بالنسبة للنساء أو 1 مليمول بالنسبة للرجال و1.3 مليمول بالنسبة للنساء يبقى مور لايبل إن هو يجي له لا قدر الله اللي هو كارديو باسبرايت كومبليكس ده السبب الأولاني السبب الثاني الناس دول بيكون عندهم هايبر ترايجليسرايديميا وده سبب كمان ريسك فاكتور ثاني السبب الثالث قلنا عوامل التجلط بيكون عندهم انكريزنج الفايبرينوجين والبلازمينوجين اكتيفيتور انهيبيتور 1 ان ذير بلاد 
السبب الرابع ما ننساش اللي هو الناس دول بيبقى مور اوبيز الناس اللي عندهم سنترال اوبيستي بيقل الاديبونكتين فبيقل واحد من عوامل اللي هو الكارديو بروتكتيف فاكتورز فبيكونوا مور لايبل للكارديو فاسكولار كومبليكيشن السبب الخامس ان بيكون عندهم هايبرتنشن السبب السادس او بري هايبرتنسيف السبب السادس بيكون عندهم الفاستنج بلاد شوجر ديس اوردرز اور ايفن ديابيتس يعني عده عوامل بتؤدي الى الحوادث القلبيه او الحوادث الدماغيه الوعائيه. نلاقي ان نفس الكرايتيريا ايضا بالنسبه للميتابوليك سندروم بنشوفها كاننا بنتكلم في السيم الباثوفسيولوجي بالنسبه للجلد اللي هي الاكانثوز نيجرجانز بالنسبه للناش اللي الكوليك تيتو هيباتايتس بالنسبه للناس اللي عندهم بوليسيستيك اوفري سندروم بالنسبه للناس اللي عندهم هايبر يوريسيميا بالنسبه بالنسبه للناس اللي عندهم الهايبوثايرويديزم فكل الناس دول كلهم هتلاقوا في اللي هو ديسليبيديميا هايبر كوليستروليميا هايبر ترايجلسترايديميا التستيرون بالنسبه لهم عالي كانهم كلهم مرض واحد عشان كده قلنا ده دي ممكن تكون اللي هو معظم الكرايتيريا اوف دي ميتابوليك سنتر. ده ممكن دكتور احمد الله يسعدك. ممكن سؤال لو سمحت دكتور احمد. اه اتفضلي. معك دكتور لولا يعطيك العافيه شكرا جزيلا المحاضره الجميله جدا الله يسعدك يا رب. دكتور فيه في 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 سلايد من السلايدات في الاخير. تكلمت عن الهاي ريسك والميديم ريسك واللو ريسك وكان الهاي ريسك لس ذان 100 والميديم حاجه كذا 140 كيف يعني كيف هاي ريسك هو لس ذان 100 في ال دي ال بتتكلمي حضرتك بتتكلمي دكتوره على الديسليبيديميا صح؟ ايوه كيف ال دي ال اختلف تماما الهاي ريسك ناو للي عنده كارديو فاسكور ريسك فاكتورز بقى دلوقتي بقى اقل من 80 يمكن ده في الجايد لاين اللي هو 20 20 وبقى دلوقتي كمان يمكن في 2019 او في اول 2020 بس اتغير عملوه بقى فيري اجريسيف في ليس ذان 50 يعني نزل لدرجة عالية جدا بقينا اجريسيف تور ذيس بارامترز اند يو ار رايت 100% بقت اخطر كتير انما السلايد يعتبر اللي هو الصورة بيكتشر فقديمة شوية عن عن الجايد لاينز الجديد يمكن حد ان شاء الله باذن الله بكره الدكتور محمود هينزل لنا كل الجايد لاينز الجديدة بالمحاضرة بالمحاضرة وبالاختلاف بالذات في الديس لحد سبتمبر 2020 يو ار رايت 100% سؤال تاني او استفسار تاني من الزملاء مره تانيه بشكر لكم جميعا حسن اصغائكم واستماعكم وقلنا ان شاء الله باذن الله بننزل المحاضرات بالكامل مع الجايد لاين الجديد اللي نزل في سبتمبر 2020 از ريجارد اوف دي هايبر ترايجلسرايديميا وشكرا لدعم دكتور محمود الشامي، دكتوره منى الراجحي، دكتور ناصر الصبيحي، مدير اداره البرامج الصحيه والامراض المزمنه، وكافه الزملاء الذين حضروا، بالنسبه للعدد برضه كان النهارده اكتمل ل 100 ففي بعض الزملاء ما قدروش ان هم يحضروا، بنعيد المحاضره مره ثانيه ان شاء الله باذن الله في مساء اليوم الساعه 8 بالليل. أشكركم مرة ثانية وشكرا جزيلا وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب